Hey guys, and welcome back to Summer. Now, last time we left off, we were being chased by some mysterious dead man walking chappy. However, I believe, for, at least for the minute, we've locked him out. I kind of hope we have. Otherwise, this is going to be a pain. So, there was that weird bug in there. What's this door? Doesn't actually say. I don't know if we're safe here. What? I need to look that back. Did we just... There was definitely something standing in that hallway. Definitely. Okay. That was actually pretty freaking cool, if I say so myself. Um, Alright, I have no idea if we're safe here. Uh, ooh, another one. Dead person. Can we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value, you know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Oh, so he was still conscious whilst they were talking over him. Wow. What a bad time that would be. Jeez, okay. Well, I mean, I think we're safe. Like, even if we're not safe and we die, there was like a, a restart point not that far away. Um, critical system failure on all of these places. Oh shit. So this is what happened? Oh. Whoa. I guess that's Alex. Alexi. So yeah, it's just trying to swallow everything off. It's just consuming everything. Holy crap. This is like nightmare fuel. So this chap's just... Just sitting here. Can you even imagine? It's probably best not to think about it, to be honest. I mean... Whoa. What a hideously cruel fate. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life... I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. Should have launched. Taking the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. Uh oh. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> so something didn't quite <laughs> go right with the launch. I guess. What have you got there, fella? Let's have a look. Oh man. I guess that's his uh, other half, I assume. Okay. So there's the infirmary, the bathroom. Oh, what fun is going to be in the shitter? You know, not much, uh, apparently. Okay. Dare we open it? We can't open it. 
Probably, you know, under the circumstances, probably a good thing. You know? Uh, so we have the infirmary. That room's labelled. Dispatch. Dive room. Alright, are there any more... Jonathan Ross... Storage. Oh. Wow. Move on, Simon. So, they appear to all be trying to talk to us with this weird hive brain thing in the WoW, which is very interesting. We can't go in here, why not? Remotely locked. Okay. Yeah, well. Uh, unfortunately, my friend, there's nothing anywhere. This is all that is left, all that there ever will be of mankind. Unless we can launch the Ark. Okay, so we can move on up there, I guess. Alright. In which case, let's have a little look in the dive room. Oh. S oh, shit. I didn't actually want to do that. How do we go up here? I can't remember now. This is the way we came, isn't it? I don't think so. Oh, this looks a bit more meaty. Dispatch. So, what is in dispatch? Oh. Oh. Okay, so assembly access. Uh, where are we? Oh, that's the fee. Tau uh, quarters access. Station entry. Tunnel module. Okay. Yeah, so that's just the transport route. Got ya. So. January 12th. Minor structural damage. Radio knockout. Communications recovered. Omicron and the rest of Pathias 2 are all right. April, cross-site radio failing. Uh, Lumar probes keep losing the link. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't retrieve the climber until the link is working. April 11th. Visited by SSE, Wolchek, Dahl and Holland. System of bi-weekly visit established until communications lumbar back at 100%. September 13th. Evacuation of Tau ordered. We're all leaving for Omicron. Swarmed by monsters and no radio. We're fucked. Oh. Well, I guess that was the last report. Anybody, uh, well, somebody uh, writ or wrote transmissions. Epsilon. So, who do we have? Do we have anybody here? I guess not. It's not looking good. Come on, Delta. Wouldn't it be cool as like a little Easter egg if somebody answered? But then I suppose it's eerie. Because we are literally alone. Comms log. Outgoing Omicron. Incoming foo. Oh, door locks. Uh, password. Um Okay. That's not creepy at all. Oh, that one just unlocked. Unmanned. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Access tunnels. 
Wi-Fi proper. Launch site okay. Mission control okay. Assembly okay. Site is fully operational. Space gun. Flexible barrel. Payload max 10 tons. Speed. Whoa, that's fast. 4,200 kilometers an hour. Right, there's definitely a ghost in the machine here. Um, I don't know whether that's all the people that have been absorbed into it trying to help. Or, if it's the WoW's doing, is the WoW learning um, by absorbing people? I have no damn clue, to be honest. It's not really explained. Radioactive canister. Ha! Huh, bobblehead. No way, that's cool. So what have we got here? What's on the tabulata? Journal? I was helping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift. An excuse to leave Alpha, Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kofsky, and Cortez, and I survived. Uh, Alkla is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Cotez made a run for it. Uh, Cotez, I should say. Cotez made a run for it. Uh, to check observation for anything resembling food, going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. Oh. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use it the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could all take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Fee. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They're all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from except for one very important thing. They all wish to remain at town to figure out this arc business out. They had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what is happening. Lucky, Glacier and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and uh, Sarang about the critical situation at Psi Alpha. Yes, but they can't talk about it. Equilibrium. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Well, that was silly. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern redefining its protocol. Oh. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. Yes, it's trying to keep people alive. I mean, that's my guess. Yeah, keeping people alive at any cost. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. Huh. See, this is what I want to find out. I want to find out more of the this. WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form manipulate to control it's trying to help save its creators from all this just like the protocol demands but really what is good enough Where yeah is the line drawn for what is human and what is not would walking corpses do would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable 
So, trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. So yeah, I guess I'm kind of right. It, it, it it's doing what it thinks right. Uh, I guess. However, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not really doing it in a in a very good way. Um, you know. That's Alpha, it's completely scrapped. Face oh the space gun is a fair click away. Huh, it's kind of weird. I mean obviously there's no way to communicate with the WoW, but it's interesting that it's learning and growing. Yeah 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 yeah. Um so there is some kind of intelligent design here. Infirmary. Ah, this is the infirmary. Let's have a look up here now we've unlocked it. See if we can find anything juicy going on. Boop. Whoa. You. You're different. What? Go ahead. Make yourself at home. The fuck? Um. Let me. Let me. Let me get the door. Ah! Mind me. Oh, don't worry. I, I, I don't mind you. Are Hello. You human. Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? It seems that way. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Fi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. <laughs> go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. I still can't believe I'm the last one. That's crazy. Hmm. If You're... I knew you'd come, I would clean this place up a little bit. <laughs> That's cute. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this Fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. I wish we could talk more. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. You're welcome. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We we'll have to accept second best, you know? Damn. This feels right. Simon, I want 
to die. Sarah. Just think about it. I will think about it. And <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm probably going to do it, but... Wow. This is probably the bleakest game that I have ever played. And it's brilliant for that. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, we talk again? Go ahead. Go save humanity. What's left of it? This is the sort of situation where you really need to be sitting down, say, on a bed, big glass tumbler of bourbon, a nice, fine cigar, and you need to ponder such a weighty decision such as this. Now, we don't have a nice, fine cigar. We don't have a big tumbler full of bourbon. Uh, what do we have? We've got a bed to sit on and a shit switch to flick. We have a computer to examine and lots of other things to examine. So, Simon is going to sit here, contemplate his decision. By the time we come back, guys, we would have made made our choice. Thanks for watching guys and as always, till next time.